Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Actually, hang on one second, that's better. So as you can probably tell by the title of today's video, today is going to be a little more of a story time than my videos usually are. Today I'm going to be talking about when I went to the GW Zoo from the Netflix show Tiger King. And I'm sure you're all aware of the number one Netflix show that basically got the US through the quarantine in March. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about it and then from then on I'll show you some videos and photos so you can see for yourself. So about two weeks ago now, my dad and I drove to Oklahoma from Arizona uh, for some family stuff and on our way back I kind of figured why not go and check out the Tiger King Zoo and it's about an hour-ish south of Oklahoma City which we were driving through anyway so we figured why not go check it out it'll probably be the last time we'll ever get to so if you didn't know the zoo is in a really tiny town called Winnowood, Oklahoma I think that's how you pronounce it I hope so anyway um, honestly, we kind of had a hard time finding it. It quite literally is in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> the first thing I noticed is that it is extremely humid there. Um, we just showed up the day of, it was kind of a last minute decision, um, wanting to buy tickets. So they were only doing general admission at the time, which is where you basically walk yourself around the park. So when we got to the little main gift shop or whatever you call it, ticket sales place, um, that you see a few times throughout the show. Um, I had, my dad and I kind of had to stand there and get on my phone to purchase the tickets. So I'm kind of standing there in the gift shop doing that and I'm standing, it's kind of a small area, so I'm standing next to the soda cooler and I'm on my phone like purchasing the tickets and out of the corner of my eye I see someone coming to like grab a drink out of the cooler so obviously I kind of scoot to the side. But then I noticed it's like the lead zookeeper guy from the show. You guys probably know who I'm talking about. I don't even think I remembered his name at the time. I just recognized him right off the bat. But I got all nervous. I got so nervous that I even messed up the security code of my debit card as I was typing it in to purchase the tickets on my phone. I was all nervous trying to figure out how to get my security code right because the tickets weren't going through. And then finally I figured out it was my fault. I was nervous and put in the security code wrong. My dad still teases me. He's like, of course you would be starstruck over some random zookeeper in the middle of nowhere in Oklahoma. <laughs> Um, but I really was, I don't know why. Um, but just a few seconds later, the other guy from the show walks in. I think his name is Alan Glover. Yeah, it's the guy that did the interview in the bathtub, you know who I'm talking about. Um, but he came in and went into kind of like the back office portion and then came out again. So I honestly, when we showed up, I wasn't expecting to see anyone from the show at all. So it was kind of crazy that just within the first few minutes of being there, hadn't even purchased our tickets yet technically, we already saw two people from the show, so that was a nice little surprise. I did get a picture of Alan Glover, um, but honestly seeing the lead zookeeper Eric happen so fast and I was so nervous, I did not get a picture of him. But luckily something else happened when we were walking around the zoo. So there was this group of girls and one guy, it looked like it was like a bachelorette party or something, and um, basically a tiger turned around and peed on this girl on her face. Her screaming prompted the head zookeeper guy, Eric, to run out again, and we're right next to that group of girls as he was talking to them and joking about getting peed on by a tiger, and he was just saying, yeah, there's not enough Tic Tacs in the world to fix that issue. Um, so we did get a picture of him. Um, I kind of felt bad being that person that's like taking pictures of someone without their permission, but honestly I didn't see anyone ask either of the people from the show for pictures, so I wasn't really sure if there was like some sort of unspoken rule that you can't ask for pictures of them, and I didn't want to be that person that gets rejected for a picture. So um, after that, we just continued walking around the zoo until we had seen pretty much everything. Overall, our impressions of the GW Exotic Zoo were pretty good. It was a lot bigger than we were expecting, I think. Um, they really have a lot of animals. And of course, after we got back home, we watched the Netflix show again, or at least some of it, just to kind of compare. And we kind of thought that the zoo hasn't really been kept up as well as it was when it was under Joe's ownership. And I know there's a lot of other stuff going on with it right now, but I know Joe did a lot of not so good stuff, but you could tell from the show that he took a lot of pride in having kind of built it from the ground up. So it is kind of unfortunate that it's not really kept up to the standards it once was or seemed to be in the show. Um, but overall, it was 
still a good experience. From what I have heard, it is going to close soon or at least move probably. So I'm hoping that if you are hoping to see it one day but didn't get the chance to, that this will give you a little taste of the experience. So thank you for watching and for listening to this story time and I hope you enjoy the videos and photos that I took that day.